Hi, I'm Kenny Lee, and what to do with a weighted tennis ball compared to a normal tennis ball? Well, we'll start by making one. Okay, making a weighted tennis ball. This tennis ball is pretty heavy, probably about a good 20 times heavier than this one. Easy. And it can be used for a lot of different things. I'm talking about motion, if I can drop them at the same time. And collisions even between the two. So there's a lot of uses for it, but you need to make one. So to start off with, just get a tennis ball. It doesn't matter the brand or the type, whatever. And you need a good sharp knife that locks into place so it don't fold back on you. And all you have to do is pick a spot. You can do it along the seam or on any of the places that you choose. I usually go with like the center of one of the panels and you just put pressure and just give it a little wiggle and it will go through if you've got a sharp knife eventually and how big of a hole you make depends, but you got to be careful because sometimes it goes through really quickly. So like that one. And so I want to make a V or possibly an X. So I'm going to start over here and aim towards where I just cut through. And usually it's easier done from a standing position than this. And so I've made a cut. The reason why I like a V is because I want to take my funnel and stick it right through that hole that I created into the tennis ball, like so. Now, what you use depends on what you want. This is uh, copper BBs, but you can use steel. Uh, you can use other different types. I like these. Just make sure, oh, you can use sand. You can use sand, it's perfectly fine. Just make sure that your funnel will work with whatever you're using. And you just literally just pour them in to the funnel. If it's hard to pour, you may just take the cap off. So you can pour these a little bit quicker. Supposedly. It just kind of depends on the size of the funnel that you have. But you can pour these through and Add as much weight as you want, as long as you can fit it inside the tennis ball. And the slower you feed it, the better. and fill up to as much as you want. And when you get done, all you have to do is pull out the funnel. The hole that you made will kind of be obvious. So all you have to do is kind of work that a little bit, push it in, pull it out, bring that part back up, and then you can use a little bit of glue. Super glue is pretty good to actually plug that up and make it a little bit less obvious where you cut into it. 
but you don't have to hide it completely. You'll be doing this in the front of the room, so it'll be well hidden. But now you got a weighted tennis ball that you use to compare against a regular tennis ball and ask them which one hits the ground first or any number of different demonstrations where you need something that are pretty much the same shape, size and shape, but much different masses. All right. Thank you. And uh, we'll do some more how to build demonstration videos later. Thank you. And I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.